My brothers and sisters this video can take some long time. But by the grace of Allah you will achieve some significant details. So watch this video to the end to get full benefits. Today I am talking to you to reflect on a struggle that creeps into our hearts, a thief of good intentions, laziness. This state can leave us stagnant, a ship anchored by comfort, missing the vast, beautiful ocean of opportunities for growth in our faith. Imagine, brothers and sisters, the day of judgment. We stand before Allah, the most merciful, the most just. He asks us, what did you do with the blessings I bestowed upon you? With your health, your time, your resources. A heavy silence might follow, punctuated only by the whispers of regret for the good we didn't do, the prayers not offered, the knowledge not sought. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, the strong believer is better and dearer to Allah than the weak believer, although there is good in both. Strength here isn't just physical, but the strength of our will to overcome laziness and strive for Allah's pleasure. Companions who overcame laziness. Think of the early Muslims. Abu Bakr, the closest companion of the Prophet, left his entire fortune behind when he migrated to Medina. Umar, known for his fierce determination, embraced Islam and challenged the entire Quraysh tribe. Khadija, the Prophet's wife, used her wealth to support the fledgling Muslim community. These individuals didn't succumb to comfort. They rose to the challenges of their time, fueled by their burning love for Allah and a desire to spread His message. Their stories ignite a fire within us, urging us to break free from the chains of laziness. The Quran warns us about the consequences of neglecting our faith. The story of the people of the cave reminds us of the importance of taking action. These young believers, facing persecution, didn't just pray for safety, they took refuge in the cave, demonstrating their commitment. Let's not be like the barren land, cracked and parched from neglect. With even small, consistent efforts, we can cultivate a garden of good deeds that pleases Allah. A simple smile towards a brother or sister, a kind word to a neighbor, a sincere supplication, these are the seeds we sow. Building your Iman, practical steps. Start small, but start. Don't wait for a surge of motivation. Begin with one additional prayer a day, reading a few verses of Quran, or helping someone in need. Small steps, consistently taken, lead to significant progress. Seek knowledge. The Prophet said, seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim, male and female. Knowledge is the light that guides us on the straight path. Find your support system. Surround yourself with positive influences who inspire you to be a better Muslim. Seek out a Quran study group, volunteer with a local charity, or find a close friend who shares your goals. Make dua, supplication. Beg Allah for the strength to overcome laziness and for the ability to increase your taqwa, God consciousness, and iman. Remember, we are not alone. We all struggle with laziness at times. Don't be discouraged. Seek forgiveness from Allah and get back on track. The Prophet said, the believer is constantly in a state of sin and forgiveness. Imagine a life brimming with purpose where each day brings an opportunity to grow closer to Allah. This beautiful reality awaits those who conquer laziness and dedicate themselves to serving their Creator. Let's rise, brothers and sisters, and together embark on this journey. Let our hearts overflow with the love of Allah and a burning desire to do good in this world. May Allah grant us the strength and guidance to overcome laziness and fill our lives with righteous deeds. May Allah reward you, for listening. May Allah may Allah bless us all and guide us on the straight path.